All right, guys, for today's big game breakdown, we're going to take a look at the Warriors at the Rockets, an 8-10 Eastern time tip from Houston. And make no mistake about it, this is, in fact, a big game. The, Brock, the Rockets, pardon me, they come into tonight trailing the Warriors by three games for the final spot in the play-in tournament. Given that they're also 0-2 in the season series with Golden State, a loss tonight would in all likelihood end any chance Houston has of making the postseason. They're obviously going to lose the season series regardless of what happens tonight, but a loss would kill the Rockets' chances of having uh, of being able to catch the Warriors for that last spot. Now, Houston was a team that was red hot for most of March. They've lost two games in a row now. But prior to that, they had won 11 in a row, going 9-2 and two ATS in the process. Golden State, they're a hot team right now, winning five straight while going 4-1 and one against the number. But all hope is not lost for the Rockets here, guys, because this game is at home, where they're 26-12 and 12 straight up and 27-11 and 11 against the number. No team in the league has been more profitable to bet on at home this season. However, we do have to consider no team has been more profitable back on the road this year than Golden State. 25 and 12 against the number are the Warriors away from home. Even more impressive is that as a road favorite, the Warriors 16 and 1 straight up, 13 and 4 against the number, outscoring opponents by an average of 11.1 points per game in that role. But here's the thing. Most of those wins for Golden State in the road favorite role have come at the expense of the dregs of the league. Houston is a competent team, obviously, with a ton to play for. I personally make this line closer to pick them. I know it's been a while since the Rockets last beat the Warriors. You have to go all the way back to February of 2020, in fact. But if you are looking to play tonight's matchup, my recommendation would be to take the points. The Rockets, great at home, as we said. Their season basically on the line, plus there's this nugget, Houston, number one in the league in three-point defense. That should come in handy tonight against Golden State. So my lean here for the big game breakdown, Houston plus the points. Okay, guys, before I get into today's best bet, just want to let you know my strongest NBA selection for tonight, currently available at my page, wt.buzz backslash BP. You see it right there on the screen. Off a nice win last night with the Pistons team total over 106 and a half. I'm now 58% with all NBA releases going back to last year's finals, looking to put the cap on a profitable regular season here. Plus, as part of tonight's package, not only do you get a 4% NBA best bet, you get a bonus MLB play as well. Just $29 for those two winners, wt.buzz backslash BP. All right, now let's take a look at the Kings and the Knicks for today's best bet on the show. Sacramento, as you know, if you've been following my plays all season, listening to me on these shows, the Kings are a team I generally look to fade. I went on the record several months ago and said this team was not going to finish top six in the West. I'll add that I also don't think they're getting out of the play-in tournament. Here's why. We're talking about a team, guys, that's 10th in the Western Conference in point differential and 11th in net efficiency. Quite frankly, I think they're pretty lucky to be in their current position 13 games over 500. Now, I'm going to acknowledge here the Kings are coming off back-to-back -back wins. They beat Utah 127-106. And the Clippers, 109.95. Both those wins, though, at home. It's been a while since the Kings have won three straight games. As a matter of fact, you'd have to go back to right after the All-Star break to find the last time the Kings won three in a row. And that particular win streak uh, sort of was a bookended the All-Star break. It was not three consecutive games. They had won a couple uh, before the break and then another after. Remember, I said the Kings are coming off a 109.95 win. Well, Sacramento's ATS record this season after a game where they allowed 95 points or less, just two and 10. So typically they don't cover in this situation. And turning to the Knicks, okay, I've already said the Kings aren't as good as their record. Well, I happen to think the Knicks are better than their record. Currently fifth in the Eastern Conference with the same 44 and 31 record as the Kings. But check this out the Kings' point differential, or uh, pardon me, the Knicks' point differential is second best in the East. Of course, Randall and OG Ananobi both still out, but this spread indicates that these teams are pretty close to even, and I just don't agree with that. The Knicks are better. They're at home, and oh, by the way, beat the Kings 98-91 in Sacramento just a couple weeks ago. Uh, Hart and Robinson, they're both questionable as well for the Knicks, but they still got Jalen Brunson. He scored 61 last Friday, and Sacramento's got injury issues of its own. Malik Monk, 
Kevin Herter, both out for this one. I've got Brunson bouncing back from a rare poor shooting effort against Miami last time out. The Knicks lost that game 109-99, but they're 10-4 and against the number this season, guys, after being held under 100 points. To me, this spread, not large enough. Best bet for the show today, New York Knicks, minus three and a half.